You say you will make minimum wage a hundred thousand. That's right. Uh, government is still finding it difficult to, to decide whether it will be twenty four or twenty five. I wonder because how, how government's will you do priority that? is not to pay workers; it's to pay themselves. Do you know how much a senator earns? A senator earns a salary of two thousand seventy six Nigerian workers mm -hmm. because an average Nigerian worker is collecting thirty eight dollars per month. Where will and you get the funds? An average Nigerian senator is taking from? home five hundred and forty million naira. To take the money from the politicians? No, yes. no. Okay. It's, it's, we will definitely not be paying them in legal wages mm. because a senator is not entitled to thirteen point seven million naira as you know uh, as allowance. But the truth is that you have enough in this country to. Serve everybody. I hope you know that you will need the backing of the National Assembly. We will need the backing of the National Assembly, but we most importantly need the backing of the Nigerian people to do any project because the National Assembly does not or will not own Nigeria or Nigerians. Nigerians own the National Assembly. And that is the reason why it is important that we start paying attention to our worker. There's nobody in the world that can live on 18,000 naira wage per month. Nobody. But we are doing that disservice to ourselves and we are defending it. You know, by claiming that where will you get the money from? The question is that there is money, there's enough money in this country. Let me give you one example. Mm -hmm. The Minister of Petroleum Resources, State Minister for Petroleum Resources, yeah, uh, uh, Kachuku, mm -hmm. admitted, revealed on national TV that he lost $60 billion to not taking royalties for certain, certain other companies that have been around in the business for 10 years because of a lacuna or a loophole in a law. And what we are proposing to pay workers is just $1.5 billion every year if okay. we do it for $100,000. Uh, Kingsley so Morgan, if you deduct that from $60 yes. billion, everybody is still doing very well. But you have incompetent leaders, you have people with no capacity, you have people with no innovative ideas. You can't move this country anywhere. Let's take it to Kingsley Morgalu. Um, Kingsley Morgalu, is 100,000 naira what the Nigerian worker uh, deserves? If you're president, is that what you'll give them or would you take it uh, higher? Or even lower? Um, you know, I understand economics and I understand how to fight poverty without creating inflation, which, of course, will work against the poor and the, and the workers. Now, the minimum wage is something that we should not take a populist approach to it. We should improve the minimum wage. A minimum wage of 18,000 naira is absolute nonsense. Nigerian workers are getting ripped off, and it's increasingly hard for them to manage their lives. But as to whether we should pay them 100,000 naira or not, I would subject that to a proper study so that our decision is informed and sustainable. That would be my approach, not just to come and make promises that are not backed up by research, just so that I would be popular. This is what creates problems in economies, and that's what's creating a problem in the economy today. The government of, of President Muhammad Buhari set up a 500 billion naira social intervention fund that is just recycling poverty. I don't see anybody getting their 5,000 naira a month. I don't see what productivity is being generated from that fund. That's why I'm going to turn it into the 500 billion naira contribution to the one trillion naira venture capital fund and the private sector will bring the remaining 500 billion so the way we think about economics is to create wealth not to recycle poverty and while we work to improve the welfare of nigerian workers it's important that we do it in a way that is measured well researched and well thought through and not knee jerk so we should increase the minimum wage but i wouldn't tell you that the minimum wage should be 1,000 naira or any particular figure at this time. And I, and it I is something I, that requires proper I want to study. jump in here. Mm -hmm. And Go Kingsley ahead. is known to be a researcher. If Kingsley hasn't researched by now what minimum wage should be, it shows that Kingsley is not prepared to lead Nigeria. And we have done our research. We, it's out there on the Internet. You can find how nonsense. we intend to pay sure. for it. Absolutely I, I, I like Kingsley, mm -hmm. but I'm surprised that Kingsley is not at this time understanding what he needs to pay workers uh, after having admitted that 18,000 naira is rubbish you can make then he goes promises. on to say that that's fine. he, does, he, that's no, he already Speak knows what he wants to Don't invest worry. in the capital market <laughs> he knows what he wants to give to entrepreneurs it's all right, he right. Know what you, he wants to pay workers uh,
Kingsley, I'm surprised, but I'll see you in Lagos when you get here. We Kingsley, have you mauled it? Have you done your research? <laughs> I mean, what, what you're saying is that you have not uh, prepared as far as the issue of uh, minimum wage is concerned, and you were going to say something about that. Go ahead. Well, I don't think that myself and Omoyo Leshoware can get into a contest about who understands economic management of Nigeria. No, uh, it's not. It's not. It's not true, Kingsley. It's not. It's not true. The point. The point is this. It's not true. I find that very degrading. I find that very degrading. I find that very degrading that you are you talking about economies no, no, as no, if no, no, no. there's a difference between <laughs> the economies of World Bank, Kingsley, and the economics that put people out of poverty. The World Bank economics you understand is the no. one that put us in poverty. The no, one of uh, no, the Washington no, consensus, no. Kingsley. No. There's, there's nothing you want to show me. We all lived in America. We know how workers are faring over there. Yeah, sure, don't come sure, and tell me that we can't get into an economics economy. contest. Why That's not? That's just the fact what, of the what makes, what makes you better you than me economically? That I did not know. I, I don't allow, allow allow no, you made a statement allow. that I don't know what to do about the minimum wage. Because I expect you by now. You, look, Kisley, so this, this is the same thing we argue about Buhari that he was never prepared to be president. Kingsley, we have 128 I days. I am far more prepared than you. And you don't know what you, you want to pay sure workers. To I'm worried about that. Nigeria. I'm worried about, you know, I, I don't, I'm not, I, 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 I think you're qualified, but I think I'm better qualified because I'm better prepared at this time as to what to pay workers. You don't know it. Okay, so Kingsley, what are the things? you already know what you want to pay that... the guys who are in the entrepreneurial world, okay. people who we have always been subsidizing, you know, the rich people, but you don't know what to pay the workers who are making this um, country work. I'm surprised. Sure, sure, um, sure, sure. Please uh, let me let me let me say very clearly that cheap popularity will not help the Nigerian economy. It's not it's not cheap popularity, but so and, and it's not, and, and, no, and, that's and, what and you're doing. You're being and, populist. And an unprepared you candidate, are being populist. An unprepared candidate you who don't doesn't know what the economics. Pay what okay, you're uh, making it cheap. Gentlemen, so gentlemen, that you gentlemen, can be popular. Wage, gentlemen, it's not going to help the Nigerian economy. I need us to be a bit right. presidential right now. Yes, uh, and I guess it's the energy of youth and the passion really to to drive to move forward that is what is driving and this. of course Gentlemen, TBC is going to have a presidential debate so absolutely you guys will, you and the debate has already started yeah don't hide your candidates it's all right when okay. we want to do the debate all right Kingsley thank Mokalil you is the presidential candidate of young progressive party ypp thank you for mm -hmm. joining us and, and sharing um, your thoughts from abuja presidential candidate african action congress aac thank you so much gentlemen uh for